What's the deal, y'all? Look, man, we got the Springbok squad for the Portugal Test match this Saturday, July 20th. Okay, we got the starting 15 and the t and the entire uh, 23 for the match, man. So, we got some new players over here. Obviously, they're playing Portugal, so... You're going to see a lot of new guys in there. You're going to see a lot of young guys. You might see some vets. So we got the squad lineup right here. We're going to take a quick look at it. And all I want you guys to do is let me know who you're excited to see. Let me know what type of game plan you think they're going to run. Let me know what you think the, the outcome of that game is going to be. Obviously, we all think they might win. But how much you think it's going to be by? Is it going to be a blowout? Is it going to be close? Um... And did I say, let me know who you're most excited to see? Yeah, let me know all of that. Just let me know everything, what you think about this lineup right here, man. So we're going to just go down the list right here. We got John Hendrick Wessels at the one. We got Johan Grobelar at the two. Thomas Dutoy at the three. Salman Morat, who's captain in the team for the first time. Um, we got RG Snyman. We got Pe uh, Veteran. We got Pepsi Butelezzi. We got Ben Jason Dixon making a return. We got Evan Roos. We got Corbis Reinach, veteran. Manny Libach. Makazoli Mapempi, veteran. We got Andre Esther Hughes. Lucanio Arm, who's finally on the lineup. Man, I think him and Manny Libach haven't been on the lineups um, at all, I believe. We also got Kurt Lee Arenza, KR14. Even though I call him KR15, you know. And then we got Airways, you know, we got Air Fossey back in the game at the uh, 15. For replacements, we got Andre Hubo Venter. We got Mutoko Machuno. Uh, we got Trevor Nay Nayakane. Uh, Duan Venter. Arroy Luau. We got Morn Vanderberg. Uh, we got Sasha Ngomezulu. And we got Quan Hearn. Um, a few things just real quick. I'm surprised Sasha's not in the starting lineup. But he did play a lot the last match. He did play a lot. So um, I suppose, you know, he's getting a little bit of a break. But he's still in the game. He's probably going to get a lot of game time, I'm assuming. Uh, but, I mean, he's still in the lineup. I'm just surprised he's not starting on the lineup based on the fact he's been coming off the bench for these big games recently. Um, but, cool, we're just going to take a quick look. You know, Sam Mor Morad, captain for the first time. Uh, the squad also features seven uncapped players um, in, the in their first test match against Portugal. Portugal, you can't sleep on because Portugal did beat Fiji in the Rugby World Cup. So that's a team you can't sleep on, man. And we're going to talk about that a little bit more in a second. Um, but yeah, included all seven of the uncapped players from this training squad. Um, the uncapped players, we already know. We got Pepsi Butelezzi, Flanker, Johan Grobelar at Hooker, Jean Hendrik Wessels at Prop, Andre Hugo Venter at Hooker. Ruan Venter, the loose forward. Moore Vanderberg, the scrum half. And we got Quan Horn at fullback. All right. Uh, Morat, at 26-year-old, become the 66th Springbok, cap, uh, Springbok captain and the third in four tests this year. So they're moving the captaincy a lot this, so far. They've been moving it around, but I think they're trying to figure out who, you know, each team is different. You know, we had Wells, which is a very different situation than it was. You know, that had uh, Peter Steph Dutrois. Um, and then we had the games against Ireland. So, you know, just moving it around a lot. It depends on the game. Depends what type of team they're building uh, for that game. Um, he's previously led South Africa schools, the Junior Springboks, and as well as the DHL Stormers. Uh, four players were retrained from the Saturday's match against Ireland, which is Kurt Lee, R.G. Snyman, Marat, both locks. Um... And Sasha Mgomizulu at back. Uh, like I said, oh yeah, Portugal steadily climbing the ranks, rising from 27th at the start of 2019. And now they're ranked 15th. In perspective, I think the United States is ranked 18th in the world. So they have a high, high Portugal has a higher ranking than the United States. Uh, let me see. As I said, they beat Fiji in the Rugby World Cup. Let me 
me see. There was a few other things I wanted to mention. Okay, this match marks the first appearance of the test season for the Rugby World Cup winners, which include Lucanio Arm as center, Manny Libok fly half, the Corbis Ryan X scrum, uh, scrum half, and then Trevor Nayakane and Thomas Dutois both are props. All right. We got eight players returning from the defeat against Wales, which includes Ngomizulu, Fossey, Mpimpi, Esther Heisen, Roos, Ben Jason Dixon, Murat, and Mtruno. All right. That's pretty... That's pretty much it. All right. Uh, so... Although he's bringing, you know, Rossi's bringing a lot of new players, slightly unexperienced players, as well as veteran players. I got to say, I rock with that combination. Like I said, even when the match against Wells, I was like, look, we're going to see a lot of new players, but they're going to have a lot of veterans out there because that makes the best synergy, right? If you just put a bunch of new guys out there on the squad, there's nobody to lead them, right? So he's bringing in guys who may be a little bit older, or maybe even younger, but they have a lot of experience under their belt, and they've been with the team for a while, and they're putting all those guys together, and they're and along with some of these younger guys, or less experienced guys, or even just completely uncapped, no experienced guys, to be able to lead them and show them the way, because that's going to give them the best way to success, right? You got to have somebody to say, like, look, bro, hey, right here, this is what we're going to have to do. Based on how these guys are pressing us in this scrum, this is what we're going to need right here. This is what we're going to do. Versus if you got a bunch of new guys, they're all trying to figure it out and learn at the same time. There's nobody to really uh, give them any real-time game information to help them actually learn along that way. So I like the mix of uh, experienced players along with all the new players. You don't want to see a team that's just all new guys. Like, like I said, they're just going to be all out there trying to figure it out and nobody really knows the way. So you got a few guys out there that's going to know the way and be able to help them out. Uh, we got Manny Libok. I'm interested to see what his kick is going to look like for this game. Uh, who else am I? Lucanio Arm. I'm really ready to see what he's going to do. I am legend. I really want to see what he's going to do first game back. Is he going to you know, make it put a stamp on it? Is he going to be more in the cut? Is he going to focus more on trying to lead the, the new guys that's in there? We'll see. Uh, Fossey, I really want to see what he plays. I loved, I loved his play. I loved his play against Wells. So to see what Fossey's going to do, um, and as well potentially get some more minutes, some more game time. I just want to see, you know, what he's going to show. What he's, what he's, what's he going to show us, man? Because he showed us a little something in Wells. Uh, Kurt Lee's going to do what he does. Uh, Simon Murat as captain, six caps in, no points so far. I really want to see just how he is on field as a captain. How he is on field with the refs and some of the calls that they're going to make. Uh, how does he lead those scrums? How does he lead those forwards? What is his rucks going to look like? Clean outs, uh, play style, etc. cetera. Um, but also being that, like, when you look at this forward pack, right? Six caps, one cap, uncapped. Six caps, uncapped, uncapped. We got a lot of young dudes, bro. You know what that means? That's a lot of movement. That's a lot of agility. Still got some speed on them. On top of all the strength they're already going to have. So I want to see, along with the more capped backs that's going to be on the field, is how expansive is this game going to be in terms of play style, right? I'm expecting the backs to lead the way on this one, not the forwards as we usually see in most South Africa games. So based on that, how expansive are we going to see South Africa play? Because we usually see the forward pack is usually the most, the more experienced. They're the ones that got the game, that got a lot of caps. They're the ones that lead the way in most games. But in this situation, it looks like the backs are going to be the one that's going to steal the show. It's usually you don't see a lot of Springbok games, but we've been noticing more of that this year. And I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving the fast pace style. I'm loving the expansive game. I'm loving the kicks to the outside, the catches, the, the holding the ball, uh, trusting your offense more than your defense. I love it because we already know we can trust their defense. But if you can get the offense to capitalize the same way the defense can, you got an unstoppable, you know, well-oiled machine. Unstoppable well-oiled machine. And I wish in the Ireland match from last week that – they trusted their offense more 
uh, from the get go of the game, which they kind of lacked on. They trusted him more in the first game, and you saw the outcome. They won. Didn't trust it as much in the second game. And you saw the outcome. They lost. So that's what I'm interested to see. Um, a lot of uncapped players, low cap players in the replacements outside of Nayakane with uh, 67 caps. Um, and then we're going to get to a few little facts, man. So this is going to be the first test match between the Springboks and Portugal. I think the first match ever. So that's going to be interesting just to see what that looks like. Uh, Manny Libok, if he scores 13 points, he will have hit the 100-point mark in Test Rugby. This will mark the first time this season that uh, Lucanio on Corbis Reinach, Manny Limbach, Dutoy, and Naya Kane uh, will run out in the box jersey. Sam Marat, 66 captain. Uh, if Hugo, if Andre Hugo Venter gets sent on, he will follow in the footsteps of his father, Andre Venter, who played 66 tests for South Africa between 96 and 2001. They will become the 16th father and son combination to play for the box. So I would love to see him get out on the field just for that moment. Um, the total test caps for the Springbok starting lineup is 228. So still very solid. It's not like it's a thousand cap squad or nothing like that. But 228 is still a good amount, especially for having a lot of new guys. Um, there are 161 caps in the back line, 67 caps among the forwards. So that's where I was going with the caps, right? You see 161, almost triple the amount of caps on the on the back line versus the forwards. And on the bench, there are another 75 caps. Uh, so the bench got more caps than the forwards do. <laughs> it was just an interesting look at things right there. Uh, the average caps per player in the back line is 23. The forwards, it's eight, while the players on the bench average nine. So. That's the squad right there. Y'all let me know what you think. Again, who are you most excited to see? What type of game think they're going to play? You think it's going to be a more back-focused, expansive, you know, high-flying, high-paced uh, game? Or do you think the forwards are going to be, they're going to put a little bit more emphasis on the forwards because they have less experience? I can see that take. So let me know that. Who's you most excited to see? What type of game playing you think they're going to run? Um, who are you most excited to see? Who are you most excited to see and who you think is going to be the standout player in this matchup? Uh, I think I think Fossey's going to be a standout player, personally. Personally. I just really love what he did in Wales, so I think he's going to be a standout player in this matchup. Um, or possibly Lucanio on um, making his return. But you guys let me know what you think. Get at me in the comments, man. Um, if I can potentially do a live stream of this game, I will. So be on the lookout for that as well. And that's pretty much it. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Remember to keep it real. Real is rare. Real always reaches everyone. Next time. Peace.